Good morning and welcome to this uh, function. Mr. Joseph, Sanjay Kedia and other authorities in the Brokers Association and uh, I'm looking at the faces of uh, cross-section of insurance people, CEOs and uh, all, all persons associated with the industry in this summit. Uh, actually, as far as I'm concerned, I'm already sent off. <laughs> Brokers Association <laughs> has been sent me off for that, so you can't expect me to say something serious in this meeting. <laughs> there have been uh, uh, shooting pictures and uh, combining it, uh, you know, all modern social media type of uh, things. See. Great. Uh, so, when the person is sent off, uh, he should uh, stop advising or start advising. <laughs> start advising others how to behave properly in this uh, market. Sanjay was narrating the entire uh, growth of industry and, uh, you know, all, all everything coming together and what IBA is doing. At the end, he has also given a big uh, representation. <laughs> I think, uh, see, uh, you know, I worked with a lot of marketeers and uh, distributors, salespersons. One of the qualities of a marketeer is never get tired of it. <laughs> you keep on pushing the paper. <laughs> you know, at all available forum. This is not the first time I'm seeing this representation, that's why I'm saying. <laughs> At all available forum, uh, whether you are coming as a individually, sir, this is the thing I want. If you come as a committee, yes, sir, this is the lot of things. Uh, we say, ah, yeah, they can get park alarm. <laughs> we keep on saying that. And uh, again, in the summit also, he pushes the paper. So he, <laughs> hoping that, uh, it will stick to the mind of regulator at some time and change accordingly. After all, these points are all well known and we are aware of it and we will be looking into that thing. As I said, always say that 100% um, of uh, things cannot be taken. It has got its own uh, dynamics about it and we will be uh, looking into many of this one. Uh, today's our 14th annual summit about a uh, uh, lot was told about the 14 number. Uh, I was just listening to it, 14 number, and today is 14. Uh, what else uh, can be generated? And I was wondering what uh, she will say about 15th number when it comes. <laughs> when when, when uh, uh, 13, of course, I don't know what she said. I don't recollect it, actually. 15, what going to say? There must be something more about 15 also. I can't, it can't be less than that. It could be more than that. If it is... Increasing the policyholder's value, then uh, that's the thing. I believe that is the summit thing of it. With every summit, if the policyholder value is going up, that will be the contribution of IBA to this, and that's all I have to say. That. We have a very unique situation in this business. Somebody manufactures, Somebody enjoys it, somebody is intermediary. And uh, insurance, uh, quite often it is sold, not bought. I rarely see this getting bought. And uh, people have to be made aware of the benefits, what the things. Yesterday evening when we are meeting, uh, some uh, brokers came to me and said that we are SME specialists. Something like that. We separate, uh, specialize on SMEs. I said, what, what is this SME specialist? He was narrating it. So, I, I mean, this is the real segment I was thinking yesterday. This is the real segment, retail segment, um, uh, corporate segment, SME, or whatever, reinsurance segment, whatever it is. It's, a, it's a catering to all these people. The point that comes up is that all people cannot be satisfied with the same type of insurance product. Different type of products are required for catering to each of these needs. 
If brokers position themselves such identifying the niche segment on which he is going to have expertise and given development, that's the biggest contribution they can make to the industry. Because meeting the customer, discussing with the customers, with the background of insurance in the, with the head and knowledge in their head, can point out the unique solution the customer should have as far as insurance needs, taking care of the insurance needs are concerned. Maybe industry has done very well. We have seen 1,27,000 crore premium coming of a general insurance, so 4 lakh crore in uh, life insurance. It has done very well. After opening up the sector in 20, so many companies have got, now even brokers, I was told more than nearly 400 brokers are there. And uh, every month even three or four brokers are coming up. It's not defunct, it is live, it's moving ahead. And not just that, it contributes to the employment generation. Number of employees are employ employed by this uh, sector. Offices are opened. Insurance is spread active and alive. If you can say that uh, active and alive about one sector, I believe it is insurance sector. We can all take pride on that. You know, growth is 17% uh, of uh, non-life. This was shown by Sanjay here somewhere, none of this one. Uh, there is a lot of discussion about a growth in India. You know, the GDP growth, you see this, uh, which is 6.7% or 7%, 7.2%. I don't understand what is the difference between points in this one. That may be economist will respond. So, when the economy is growing, GDP is growing at, say, 7% or 7.5%, there is a sector which is growing at a much, much higher rate. Means, Insurance needs are being increasingly met by the activities of the insurance companies and the distributors like brokers here. Government has got uh, several schemes, a part of government's several schemes of the government, like uh, Fasal Bima Yojana, etc., etc. Other insurance spheres also is growing very well. Look at um, health insurance, which was recognized as a separate entity in the last uh, Insurance Act amendment. More than 43-44% growth annually. Which just means there has been a latent demand for this one and companies are coming to meet it. When companies are designing a product and they are coming forward to meet it, obviously through distributing to all the people, then that's the growth of the country, growth of the economy happening. Nearly 30,000 crore premium has come through brokers in non-life last year. More than 27% of the share of new business, I mean, this premium is coming through the brokers. A channel which has started hardly, uh, first license maybe 2002, 2002 has been given first license, this has grown. That means the economy is growing, definitely a developed economy is there. And insurance industry is growing much, much higher. And the contribution of brokers in this is also growing. At the front end of the growth of the country and the growth of the economy is the broker. They can certainly take a pride on that position. When three or four new entities come, even if uh, our uh, capital is enhanced, etc., and all those things are there, coming up. That means people are seeing some viability in the sector and uh, growth in this sector. We in IRDA has recognized the importance of IBA in developing people. We, that's why we online, we are trained, and online we are trained, even otherwise, their training uh, permission is given to IBA for renewal. Thing. They are also taking it forward online. What is online today? It's a, it's a push, it's a digital. Wherever you go, wherever you talk to, e-commerce and uh, online thing is taking prominence. Naturally so, in a country like India, and with uh, all the smartphones, uh, everything coming in, this channel has to be adopted. This is the one point I thought I will, I will I talk to all the people. Because 
Traditional industries, we are focused on a traditional way of doing the business. When the environment changes, has to change their activities and focus through suit the new environment, technological environment. If someone fails to come to the new environment, he becomes old like me, retiring and going home. If he has to be relevant, he has to adopt to the new technologies. That's what we have. We have in IRD also, we have recognized the point of sales, where simple product can be sold through persons, and a number of people have come up. That's one, one, one great aspect. E-policies, number of things are coming up. Today, it has to be linked with Aadhaar. Once the Aadhaar linking happens for, I'm talking about retail policies, Corporate policies are slightly different. Corporate policies, author linking happens again. It is taking to the different different phase altogether. Probably, industry is benefited by the formalization of business with uh, some note, uh, high denomination note withdrawal and GST. You know that you are very familiar with. What has contributed is business has become more formal. And a business which is depending on a formal economy is bound to thrive. Maybe insurance is beneficiary of all the initiatives of the government for digital push and formalization. I think we have to again not complacent with what we have done by whether in IRDA or industry, not complacent with what you have done, to be in the front end of that. Lead the, in, lead the industry and needs of the people with the cutting edge technologies that is available to us. Online uh, training has started, yes, good. Maybe it will have to go to the app phase or social media, I don't know what, what are things available. I keep hearing about it. So it has to go more way, constantly going forward, being not satisfied with uh, what we have achieved. The moment we are satisfied with uh, our achievement and we say that nothing more to be done, I am the greatest in the world, then the growth stops. Growth is driven by the... Uh, this unsatisfied with this lack of satisfaction, complacence in the person, and to achieve something more, probably industry has to look into the environment, adapt to the changes in the environment, and going it forward. We in authority has also tried to do something, like uh, uh, some some erroneous practices in the um, sector to be corrected. We have brought MISP. What are insurance service provider? It has corrected something. We are just watching how it is going forward, how it is going to benefit customers and industry. If the disclosures comes, we should not be caught unaware of the things that is happening. Motor insurance service provider, point of sales, and etc. Uh, etc. Et All these things. I believe as a brokers, as a professionals, it will be front end of adopting the changes and giving ourselves a competitive edge in whatever work we are doing. Around 400 brokers are there. I'm sure they are not satisfied with what they are doing. They want to find out what is the next edge, competitive edge they can have by adoption of technology or an app or whatever it is to take it forward and have the policies issued and more than that, claim settlement also. Claim settlement is one area. Claim settlement is one area people never be satisfied. No customer will have seen satisfied with a claim settlement because he feels that uh, you have any problem, you can settle more. But there has to be balance between what is, what is demanded and what can be given. That can be satisfied, that can be revealed, transparent, only with the adoption of technology whether a hospital registry in IAB or uh, SMEs or ETAS, whatever it is. These things, our effort is to become more and more transparent in these matters. Broker regulations will be coming. Of course, it will be interest to you when it is uh, published. 
we have sent it to the uh, Gazette for public Gazette for publication, and I believe it should be coming at any time because any regulation to become a regulation it has to be gazetted in the government gazette. So it is there, and I believe that uh, it will answer a number of questions brokers were placing before us. As I said earlier, broker association was always in the forefront of uh, pushing the. Uh, representations and brokers then. So uh, to some extent we'll be satisfied, but uh, we will leave something there so that they will have some agenda to bring, come to us again. <laughs> <laughs> not that everything is over, now we'll not come to, we will like to see the face of uh, <laughs> uh, broker association president. Not. So we will leave something there, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that also. <laughs> as far as uh, BAP, Business Analytic Pro Project is concerned, uh, Sanjay Kedia has said some of the small issues. Anything will have, uh, any technology things will have some issues, but it's a big improvement. Big, I believe it is a big improvement, like um, government has brought GST. GST had some problem, now people are satisfied. E-invoice will come and people will be more satisfied with that. And uh, this, um, these things also, we will be continuously trying to improve it. This is the message I give to IRDA team also, and also who are who are is uh, making use of that. Given the environment, given the growth environment, given the technological advancement that we happens, I believe the insurance has got a very bright future ahead, because it has not touched even four percent penetration levels. Much much higher penetration is required. If you look at the non-life insurance penetration, it is much, much lower. It's lot of things to be done. Household insurance. Now, motor insurance uh, and uh, medical is uh, driving that show. Maybe crop insurance is also there. It needs to insure all the belongings of the persons that we have to find out appropriate solutions. And uh, IBA can contribute a lot to design the product. This always they felt it. A person at the front end interacting with the customers will have a lot of things to contribute to the industry and say, yes, this is the product that is demanded in the market. And this summit also, as I said earlier, coming together of all professionals, TPAs, insurance companies, everyone is coming together and discussing it in a summit will throw up ideas which can be taken forward, will lead us to a better life. I wish this conference all the best success. I hope there is no other send-off uh, planned after this one for the IBA. Thank you very much. <laughs>